had. Why? Emily Webb, what have you been crying about? Uh, she just got an awful scare, Mr. Morgan. She almost got run over by that hardware store wagon. Everybody says Tom Huckins drives like a crazy man. Well, now, you take a drink of water, I believe. You look all shook up. I tell you, you've got to look both ways before you cross Main Street these days. It gets worse every year. What do you have? I'll have a strawberry phosphate. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. No. No, have an ice cream soda with me. Two strawberry ice cream sodas, Mr. Morgan. Two strawberry ice cream sodas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are 125 horses in Grover's Corners. This minute I'm talking to you. State inspector was in here yesterday. He said they're bringing in these automobiles. The best thing to do is just stay home. Why, I can remember when a dog could go to sleep all day in the middle of Main Street. Nothing come along to disturb him. There they are. Enjoy. Yes, Miss Ellis, what can I do for you? They're so expensive. No, don't you think of that. We're celebrating our election. And do you know what else I'm celebrating? No. I'm celebrating because I've got a friend who tells me all the things that ought to be telling me. George, please don't think of that. I don't know why I said it. It's not true, you're- No, Emily, you stick to it. I'm glad you spoke to me like you do. But you, you'll see. I'm going to change so quick. You bet I'm going to change. And Emily, I want to ask you a favor. What? Emily, if I do go away to State Agriculture College next year, would you write me a letter once in a while? I certainly will. Certainly will, George. It certainly seems like being away three years, you get out of touch with things. Maybe letters from Grover's Corners wouldn't be so interesting after a while. Not a very important place when you think of all New Hampshire, but I think it's a very nice town. The day wouldn't come when I wouldn't want to know everything that's going on here. I know that's true, Emily. Well, try to make my letters interesting. You know, I believe. Whenever I meet a farmer, I ask him if he thinks it's important to go to agriculture school to be a good farmer. Why, George? Yeah, and some of them say that it's even a waste of time. You can get all those things, anyway, out of the pamphlets the government sends out. And Uncle Luke's getting old. He's about ready for me to start taking over his farm tomorrow if I could. My! But like you say, being gone all the time, in other places and meeting other people, gosh, if anything like that can happen, I don't want to go away. I guess new people aren't any better than the old ones. I'll bet they almost never are. And Emily, I feel that you're as good a friend as I've got. I don't need to go meet the people in other towns. But, George, maybe it's important for you to go and learn all that about cattle judging and soils and those things. Of course, I don't know. Emily, I'm going to make up my mind right now. I won't go. I'll tell Pa about it tonight. Why, George, I don't see why you have to decide right now. It's a whole year away. Emily, I'm glad you spoke to me about that. I fault in my character. What you said was right. There was one thing wrong in it, and that was when you said for a year I wasn't noticing people. And you, for instance. Why? You said you were watching me while I did everything. I was doing the same about you all the time. Why, sure. I always thought about you with one of the chief people I thought about. I always made sure where you were sitting on the bleachers and who you were with. And for three days now, I've been trying to walk home with you. Something's always gotten in the way. 
Yesterday I was standing against the wall waiting for you, and you walked home with Miss Corcoran. George! Life's awful funny. How could I have known that? Why, I thought... Listen, Emily. I'm going to tell you why I'm not going to agriculture school. I think once you found a person that you're very fond of. I mean, a person who's fond of you, too. And likes you enough to be interested in your character. Well, I think that's just as important as college is. And even more so. That's what I think. I think it's awfully important, too. Emily? Yes, George? Emily, if I do improve, and make a big change, would you be, I mean, I mean, could you be? I am now. I always have been. Well, I guess this is an important talk we've been having. Yes. Wait just a minute and I'll walk you home. <laughs>